Today, Jim and I were scheduled to fish a popular Rocky Mountain stream, but a forest fire blocked access, so we had to adjust our plans. The owner of the lodge we were staying at happened to be a chopper pilot and said he'd fly us up to get a closer look at a few peaks, and then he'd drop us off at one of his favorite high elevation lakes. Though Jim and I both spend most of our time fishing streams, we jumped at the chance to put a fly in the water. Call this trip a detour, call it plan B, but the day quickly became the most memorable backup plan we've ever experienced. When we put the boats in the water, I falsely assumed that the fish in all high elevation lakes would take whatever fly was thrown at them. It took me three different fly changes to figure out that the trout were only feeding on top, and they were only feeding on back swimmers in a variety of small mayfly patterns. Once we figured that out, the fishing evolved into what can only be described as completely unforgettable. Fishing this lake today with Jim was a sensation overload. Floating around in water masters under towering peaks, casting to trout in water left behind by a 10,000 year old glacier, watching fish cruising through the shallows and rising to mayflies. As a fly angler, I don't know if I've ever experienced a more exhilarating high. 